Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about TPMS sensors on vehicles. So here I have a Honda Insight, it's a 2010, and I started getting a message on the screen that said that there was an issue with the TPMS sensor, it's an orange message that appears in the middle. Uh, it's not the one that blinks and makes noises, it beeps. If you get that one, that usually means that one of your tires is either has low and you should put air in them. In my case, I got the TPMS error. My tires were fine. They didn't have a tire uh, uh, um, issue with how much air was in them, um, but I was getting that message. So that clearly tells you that there's something wrong with the sensor. Now, since this car is 12 years old, these uh, sensors on each tire only last anywhere between five to seven years, they claim. On this vehicle, it seems like they last at least 10 years. Uh, and what I didn't know was which of the sensors was the one that was having issues, right? So you can take it to like a regular um, place where you get your tires. They can probably check them, check them all, and tell you which one is the one that is um, is faulty. In my case, I took it and found out um, that the one in the back left was the only one that the battery was dead, so it wasn't registering. So what we did, what I did, was I bought a TPMS sensor online. I think I paid about thirty dollars for it. And then my tire shop, I was getting new tires. So when I got the new tires, they replaced it for free. So now it's in there, but they weren't able to program it. Unless I paid them like a hundred bucks, they wouldn't program it. So I was able to get a hold of uh, one of these, um, uh, this is a Maxi T PMS, uh, not sensor, but scanner, scanner's called. So with this device, what we can do is we can program, we can find out the ID code for all four tires, and then we can send that data to the computer on the vehicle, okay, on this Insight. So that's what I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna do, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me, uh, here in the sensor, in this uh, scanner, we can go to uh, advanced mode, and we hit yes, and that'll take us into advanced mode. I already have on here what the vehicle is. So the vehicle is um, the Honda Insight, and what year it is, so 2010. And then I hit continue here. So then here, what I want to select uh, for this type of uh, programming, it's called reposition, or sorry, position relearn. So here we do position relearn, and we hit yes. And when we do that, we want to select OBD relearn, okay? So we do OBD relearn, press yes again. And then in here, it says, do you want to clear previous data on this tool? In this version, you have to hit yes, or else for some reason it doesn't continue. Maybe it needs an upgrade to fix that, but I'll hit yes. So then now it gives me the directions. I'll hit yes. So then at this point, we basically have to find out what the ID is for each tire. All right. Now the sensor is on the actual like valve where you put air in. So what you do is you put it right next to it here, and then you hit the middle, the center button here, where here it says press um, that button to trigger. So when I press it and let go, it immediately finds that sensor. So now it tells me to go to the next tire. So we'll go to the front right. Just over here. Do the same thing. Press the center button here. Immediately finds that one. Now it says to do the back right. So we'll do back right. All right. And then now we're gonna go to this one and we'll hit back left. All right, so there it's did all four of them. Okay, so now that we have that, it says, please connect OBD and turn engine on. All right, so to do that, I gotta get into the vehicle. So let's unlock the car. And I already plugged in the cable. So the cable looks like this. Uh, I did this a little bit earlier. Uh, the cable looks like this that came with this device. You plug it in here, it plugs in right under there. Uh, it just slips in. And then now what we'll do is we'll go over here. Let's see if we can put this down here so you can see it. So we'll plug this one in here. All right, so now it's plugged in. And what I'll do is I'll turn on the car. Um, I won't actually turn on the ignition. I'm just gonna put it in on. So here I go on, there. And now that it's on, 
Turn on the volume. Okay, so now that it's on here, I don't know if you can see that. Let's move it down here so you can see it a little better. All right, hopefully you can see that. So here it says, uh, turn ignition on, hit yes, okay. So in here it's communicating with the vehicle. Please wait. It says writing sensor ID to ECU. All right, so there it starts blinking, or it starts making a beeping. It says check tire pressure, that's fine. It says writing sensor ID to ECU still. And it says write ID successful. Please proceed with the following steps until the OBD rele uh, relearn is successful. So hit OK. So hit yes. Communicating with the vehicle, please wait. It's reading the IDs. And it says um, the relearn was successful. So I'll hit OK. OK. So um, now this is done. So I can unplug this device. All right, so now the vehicle says uh, check tire pressure. So let's turn it off and we'll turn it back on. And turn, so they were actually turn on the vehicle. And now we might get that message. All right, so at this point, a couple things. We'll drive it a couple blocks and see if the error goes away. If it doesn't go away, then what it means is we have to put a little bit of pressure or uh, a little bit of air in the tires or remove a little bit of air that way there's some kind of change that happens to the tire uh, for it to re-trigger and re try to connect so first we'll just drive it about two blocks and see what happens <laughs> that didn't work now I am going to just put a little bit of air on each tire so we'll park it here in the driveway and we're gonna do that all right so I'm parked let's put a little bit of air on each tire let's go okay it's a little loud I got my air compressor on but basically we'll just plug this in here we'll move this Okay, so now we're done putting a little bit of air on each tire. We'll go back in here. And turn on the car. Let's see if the beeping still occurs. Close the door. Actually, let's look at it and make sure. drive it around a little more
So I had to drive another, what, a block and a half or so? <clears throat> and the message went away, and now I have no air on the vehicle. <clears throat> so the air putting in, I guess you could drive it a little bit longer and see if it goes away by itself. I think the recommendation is drive it for 10 minutes. Uh, I noticed when I did this before that after 10 minutes, I still was getting the beeping. And then I read that if you do the air, changing the air uh, pressure on the tires, even a little bit, you can take a little bit of air out or you can put a little bit back in. It kind of resets something and causes it to re, uh, recheck uh, everything. So that's why I did that step, okay? But um, that's how you get the, after you replace your TPMS, that's one way you can program the new ID to the vehicle, okay? Hope that was helpful for someone. Uh, definitely like and subscribe if you like this content and uh, put any comments in the comments, put any questions you might have uh, about this procedure. All right, and I'll be happy to, to answer those. Thanks so much and uh, have a good one, bye-bye.